The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Infrastructure. Develop and modernize the national infrastructure to improve the quality of life for all citizens. Construction, completion and maintenance of roads and bridges for the first ring road, Desman and Abdullah Ahmed Street, Group B. The construction project sector and the Ministry of Public Works is responsible of construction, completion and maintenance of roads and bridges for the first ring road, Desman and Abdullah Ahmed Street, Group B. The Ministry of Public Works started implementing the first phase of the project in May of 2008 at a cost of 29 million Kuwaiti dinars and will transfer parts of the Jahra roundabout to tunnels as well as the work of suspended overhead bridges connecting the first ring road on Jamal Abdel Nasser Street and the Sea Road. The second phase of the project includes construction of three free intersections, five car bridges, three tunnels and two pedestrian bridges. In addition to the construction and renewal of phone, water and electricity networks, rainwater, drainage networks and sanitary sewage system. The construction and renewal of street lights and traffic lights with the expansion of current road on both sides and relocation and re-establishment of Al Matabba Mosque. The second phase is located within the project works from the south of the bridge of Riyadh interchange fast with the first ring at the level of the ground surface until it reaches a point at 200 meters from the roundabout gate Jahra. The project includes the implementation of 5 km of highways and sewer drainage and secondary street connected to the first ring inside the city of Kuwait in addition to the replacement and renewal of existing services of water network electricity and telephones and the network of rain and sanitation. The main objectives of the first ring development project are to achieve a smooth flow of traffic. It will also be a solution to traffic congestion in many areas, especially that the first ring road of the important and vital internal roads, which are experiencing high traffic density, especially at peak times. The first ring project in its third phase was designed to accommodate more than 2,000 cars per hour. Cost of the first ring development project is 32 million Kuwaiti dinars. The remaining time of completion of the second phase of the project is a few more months. Completion percentage of the second phase of the project is at 60%. The annual plan 2017-2018 is a schedule to continue 164 projects that will contribute more than 50 billion in revenue. From Mishra Kuwaiti account, the first train development project phase 2, 8%, three intersections, five bridges, three tunnels, two infantry bridges renewing all service networks. Initiation of the first cycle project phase 2, which includes a range of bridges, tunnels and infrastructure renovation. Picture showing the final shape after the completion of the first ring development projects phase 2. New Kuwait government account, the Cairo Street project starts from the first ring street to Baghdad Street to secure continuous traffic. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development projects, please visit the website on the screen. Under the patronage of Minister of Commerce and Industry and Minister of Services Khaled Rodan, an educational seminar was held on the role of the Competition Protection Agency on creating a competitive economic environment based on economic efficiency through the application of aspects of the Competition Protection Law 
thus achieving equal opportunities between different sectors and fair economic units in the local market. In view of the fact that competition is a vital element in stimulating effective and strong economies and encourage growth, the economic role of protecting competition is to increase productivity by pushing ineffective companies out of the market and allowing effective companies to enter or gain market share. Uh, today we have a, a seminar, uh, a collaboration seminar between the Competition Protection Authority and the Consumer Protection with the attendance of the Minister of Commerce and Industry, uh, Mr. Khalid al -Rodan. It's just to, to create awareness and the differences between the Consumer Protection and the Competition Protection Authority uh, because the Competition Protection Authority is a, new, is, is a new governmental sector and the people are not really aware of the, of the sector, the new sector uh, these days. So we wanted to make a seminar to make the difference because people are mixing up between the Consumer Protection and the CPA. The Competition Protection Agency works to regulate the market mechanisms and raise the efficiency of its performance to ensure a fair and fair competition while protecting consumers by providing a good service or commodity at a good price and high quality and to protect producers by organizing the formation of productive entities without harmful monopolistic practice. Competition policy in Kuwait adoption of open and dynamic markets free from harmful practices and increasing awareness of competition law is a major challenge for the agency especially as it is a modern entity the Arab Union for Solidarity held a press conference about the start of the provision of humanitarian aids in order to achieve the objectives of the United Nations for Sustainable Development, which aims to find a society shares effectively in construction, society development, pleasing societies and consolidating a culture of social responsibility. The Arab Union for Social Solidarity, which follows the Economic Council unit held a press conference in the Arab League through which it highlighted the objectives of the Arab Union by launching its events in AIDS and humanitarian contributions in the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and after that they will start converting into all Arab nations in order for the world states in application of the United Nations objectives for sustainable development. Uh, we have a conference today uh, for uh, to help uh, uh, needy people such as handicapped elderly. We will begin in uh, Jordan uh, and also we will join uh, many Arab countries such as uh, Egypt and others. Also we will join the Gulf, uh, Gulf countries such as uh, first in Kuwait in uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, Saudi Arabia and other Gulf countries. Uh, our goal is uh, to help uh, these needy people and to join them in the community uh, to draw the happiness in their faces um, we will start in Jordan for next week and wait us in our in new activities the Union aims for a community cohesion and find a society that shares effectively in construction and social development through adopting long-term strategic plans aim to please the Arab society and consolidate a culture of social responsibility. The union also seeks for supporting sharing in local organizations which demand quality in addition to get support, which includes poor families, the elderly, disabled people, orphans and the unemployed, providing social services including health care, education, drinking water, sanitation and adequate housing.